Hey everyone, today I'd like to review the Leave It cue and Beowulf's gonna help me show you how to teach Leave It to your dog. So what I'm gonna do, first step, um, you need high value treats, low value treats, and a clicker if you wanna use it for this exercise. Take low value treats, place them in one hand, high value treats in the other. I'm gonna take the low value treat hand, close my fist, and essentially let Beowulf sniff and investigate. Yes, good boy. What I'm doing right there is I'm capturing the moment that he backs off and stops the sniffing and investigating this hand. Yes, good boy. So you see that second there where he backs away? That's what I'm capturing. I'm clicking it to tell him that's what I like and rewarding it with a nice <laughs> food treat, which he's very interested in. So same thing again, closed fist, waiting for that moment where he backs away. Yes, good boy. In the beginning, it's honestly just like a little short millisecond. <clears throat> you want to build on that, but giving our dog that clue um, with the clicker or a marker word of saying yes if you don't want to use a clicker lets them know what we're rewarding. Yes, good boy. And it makes it a lot faster for the training. So you can see already this is maybe the third or fourth time that I just rewarded him and he understands Good boy, what he needs to do in order to get the food reward, which is to leave it alone. Sylvester, you want to learn leave it too? Okay, so again, one more time, the same way. Um, food in the hand, closed fist, waiting for the moment where he backs away from it. So he's still kind of staring at it. Yes, good boy. I just waited a second and I'm rewarding him for not uh, mugging my hand anymore. So the next step in this exercise would be to graduate to having your hand open. You wanna set your dog up for success, just like all the training. So I wanna be able to close my hand and not let Beowulf get the food because I'm teaching him to leave it alone. So I'm opening my hand, closing it if he goes for it, opening it. Yes, good boy. He's, um, he's pretty smart, um, give your dog some time. Um, you know, they might already know, good boy, or it might take them a moment since dogs don't usually generalize well. Um, we've run through this exercise once before, so maybe he remembers a little bit, but open hand, yes, good boy. And he knows the reward doesn't come from eating this, the reward comes from waiting and leaving something alone, which gets him the food. So, now that I know Beowulf, yes, is going to leave that alone, I'm going to increase my criteria and do it a little bit of a different way. So the third step here would be putting the food on the floor. Again, I want to set myself and my dog up for success. So if he goes for it, I'd like to be able to cup my hand over it and prevent him from eating this food. So I'm putting it on the floor. I'm cupping my hand when he goes for it. Yes, good boy. And then I'm clicking and treating for him, leaving it alone. So notice that I'm not giving him the food reward that I was covering, I'm giving him a different piece of food because I'm teaching him to leave this. Yes, good boy, good job, good job. I haven't put a verbal cue, <laughs> I got it. I haven't put a verbal cue to this yet because I'm just starting to introduce the behavior to Beowulf. So I'd like to assign a verbal cue once I'm very confident that he is going to indeed leave this food alone. So let's say I run through this two more times. So he sees the foods here. Yes, good boy. And he's leaving it alone. He's just dying to eat it. Good job. Okay, now I feel pretty sure that he's not going to mess with this. I'm going to say um, my verbal cue, which is leave it. So Beowulf, leave it. Yay, good boy. And you can see he understands also that the food reward is going to come from me. It's not when I tell him, okay, that then he gets to eat this. So with leave it, a lot of people like to assign a release word like okay. Um, it's a little bit, you know, varying based on the context. Um, sometimes you're going to tell your dog leave it and there really isn't a least release word because maybe you're out for a walk and your dog wants to go for something gross, a little dead creature or something like that. Um, and you tell them leave it. Well, I wouldn't give a release word because then he's not going to be able to eat it. So I'm not saying okay in that instance. Come here, Beowulf, come. Now, the next step, if you'd like to continue making this more difficult and generalizing this um, so that your dog also understands to leave things alone outside or if you drop something in the kitchen, is to make it a little harder. So I'd start by dropping the food. 
which is a little more interesting to the dog now. Yes, good boy. Beowulf did not go for it, which is awesome. So I'm going to give him a reward. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to drop it a little bit higher. <clears throat> Yes, good boy, good job. Okay, so I'm rewarding that again. And I didn't use the verbal cue yet because that's the first time I had dropped the food. Wasn't exactly sure what he was gonna do. Leave it. Yes, good job. So click me intruding for that because he's not even interested. He's not, you know, trying to snatch it. So that's awesome. Um, I can make it a little more difficult by dropping it from a little bit higher. Now, each time I raise the criteria, I'm going to test it out at least once or twice before I use the verbal cue. So if I haven't ever tried dropping the food from up here, I wouldn't want to use the word if I'm not 100% sure or would bet $100 that he will leave it alone. So I'm going to just test it out. I'm going to go a little closer to him, so I'm just going to drop it. And I want to make sure that I'm ready to cup it if he goes for it. Now he didn't go for it. Yes, good boy. I'm going to click and treat for him ignoring the food. Excellent job. Good boy. Okay, one more time. Yes, good boy, good job. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw in the verbal cue because I ran through it a couple times and I'm pretty confident he's not gonna go for it based on his response the last couple times. Leave it. Yes, good job, good boy. All right, and then you can make it even harder and translate this to more um, real life situations where uh, maybe you'd like to leave something on the coffee table, walk out of the room and come back and know that it's gonna be there. So you can work up to essentially having a plate of food, putting it down somewhere that's kind of within your dog's reach and telling them to leave it alone. You should be able to um, leave really honestly anything, a plate of food, um, your dog should be able to walk by a toy, a treat, anything that you ask them to leave alone. So this is an awesome cue to work on, uh, lots of different situations where it's gonna come up. I'm going to show you one more version of this. Let me just get the thing set up. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to pretend like this is some sort of sandwich. It's basically sliced bread. There's nothing inside of it. But tempting enough, it's on a plate. This is very uh, realistic. And I'm going to start using Leave It With this, um, this prop. So come here, Wolfie. I just want him to move so everyone can see what I'm doing. Come here, buddy. Come over here. Okay, okay, good boy. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get this. We're gonna use this as a prop. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to ask him to leave it. Yes, good boy, good job. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this down so that's kind of a, a little bit different. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm trying to get my treat pouch. Leave it. Yes, good boy, good job. Okay, if he was gonna go for the plate, I'd simply take it out of his reach. So again, I'm going to, um, I'm just trying to back him up so you can see a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down, leave it. Yes, good job, good boy. Now, I wouldn't walk away from this plate just yet. I would build up to that. However, he's doing an excellent job and you can work through all these steps with your dog. So I'm going to make it a little harder by having the plate, placing it down, leave it. Yes, good job. And he shouldn't eat it unless I tell him it's okay to. Leave it. So I'm gonna walk away. Now if he goes for it, I'm just gonna come over and lift the plate up, no big deal. So if, it, if you make it too difficult and your dog <coughs> isn't able to succeed, you need to either go back a step or increase your treat. So here I know that it just maybe was a little too challenging. We'll just go back one step and end there, end on a good note. So again, leave it. Maybe this time I'll just kind of come over here. Yes, good boy, good job, good boy. Okay, so have fun with this. This is a very um, incredibly helpful tool to have. Um, be patient with your dog and on a good note I am jackpotting Beowulf right now which means just basically giving him a ton of treats <laughs> you can stick your nose in there oh my god too silly okay everyone thanks for